So I'm gonna show you how to tie the uh, hot rib Duracell jig. So this is just a bit of a brighter version of the Duracell jig, I suppose. Um, it's got a metallic bit pink bead and it's got a fluorescent rib on it. Um, so perhaps you could use it if the water's a bit more colored or if the fish in the water were very aggressive, like there might be some stocky rainbows or something. Um, but it's well worth giving a go. So I'll show you how to tie it. So in the vise, we've got, uh, it's a 3.2 millimeter uh, metallic pink tungsten bead, and we've got a size 16 uh, jig force hook. So I'm just gonna fix that bead in place with a little bit of super glue. So just put a little dab of glue just on the uh, crank of the hook shank there. And then we attach our thread. So the thread is just standard brown fine tine thread. So catch that on, make a few turns, and then snap off the tag piece of thread. Run the thread down to, uh, if you had a barb, it would be halfway between hook barb and hook point. Um, so tail on this fly is um, just some CDC, that's uh, not CDC, Coctelium fibers. So the measurement of the tail, you want it to roughly be hook shank. So just catch that in one turn of thread. And the rib on this fly is um, GB floss, and you want one strand um, GB number four or GB number five, and you want one strand of one of the uh, pink GB flosses. I think this is uh, GB number two. So just catch that in and then just run that out of the body. Just remove the tag piece of the Coq de Leon and just run our thread back down to the tail. Okay, so we're just gonna dub the body. The body is um, this brown UV eye stub. Try and keep it nice and slim. And then just wind that up as your body. Okay. Now these ribs, or these two pieces of floss, we just need to twist them. Uh, makes a really nice, bright rib. And then just to ensure that the, the floss doesn't lose its color when it gets wet, again, we just apply small amount of super glue to the floss before we wind it up and just wind this up and rip the fly again we're winding in the opposite direction to the way we wound our dubbing and that's just about four turns okay just catch that off and remove the waste piece as with all Duracell jigs, the hackle on this is just CDC. So I'm just gonna try and find a nice feather here. So we're just gonna use one of these, uh, one of these clips. Put the CDC fibers into the clip. Just cut off the stalk. Make a double loop. Just secure it by going around the loop a couple of times. Touch your dubbing twister. And then just drop these CDC fibers into the loop. Okay. And then just spin that up. Okay, and then we just wind this on. As you wind it on, just stroke the fibers back. I 
after each turn. Okay, just wind the thread part of that dubbing loop around your tying thread. Catch it in securely. Remove the waste. Just add a small piece of dubbing. This is like a thorax to sort of finish the fly off. Just apply a small piece of fuller mill super glue to the thread. And then we just whip finish. Okay. And then that is the hot rib Duracell jig.